This TV mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT SME Nation. Bago po tayo mag-umpisa sa ating misa, pwede bang pakisabi sa iyong katabi, mahal na mahal ka ng Diyos. Dala ang ngiti at kagalakan ngayong umaga, natitipon tayo upang magbigay papuri sa ating Panginoon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we will be searching the real joy of our life. Sino nga ba ang tunay na galak ng ating buhay? Ngunit pagminsan, tayo ay nakakalimot sa kagalakang iyon. We tend to forget to share the same love that God has given to all of us. And humbly, we ask for His forgiveness and mercy. We all together say, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We all together raise our voices to the Father and give Him our papuri sa Diyos.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Coming back from their exile in Babylon, the Jews listened to the priest Ezra, who read and explained God's word to them. The people weep because they realize that their unfaithfulness to God's law caused their national tragedy. Now that they renew their commitment to follow the law of the Lord, they are invited to rejoice once more. Our first reading. A reading from the book of Nehemiah. Ezra the high priest brought the law before the assembly, which consisted of men, women, and those children old enough to understand. Standing at one end of the open place that was before the water gate, he read out of the book from daybreak till midday in the presence of the men, the women, and those children old enough to understand. And all the people listened attentively to the book of the law. Ezra the scribe stood on a wooden platform that had been made for the occasion. He opened the scroll so that all the people... He was standing higher up than any of the people. And as he opened it, all the people rose. Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God, and all the people their hands raised high, answered, Amen, Amen. Then they bowed down and prostrated themselves before the Lord, their faces to the ground. Ezra read plainly from the book of the law of God, interpreting it so that all could understand what was read. The Nehemiah, that is, His Excellency, and Ezra, the priest scribe, and the Levites who were instructing the people said to all the people, Today is holy to the Lord your God. Do not be sad and do not weep. For all the people were weeping as they heard the words of the law. He said further, Go, eat rich foods and drink sweet drinks and allot portions to those who had nothing prepared. For today is holy to our Lord. Do not be saddened this day, for rejoicing in the Lord must be your strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, our spirit. 
Christians are given gifts to build up and enrich the body of Christ, which is the church. Each member is important. Christians should therefore be concerned for one another for the good of the whole body. The second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons. And we were all given to drink of one spirit. Now the body is not a single part, but many. You are Christ's body, and individually, parts of it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise to give glory and honor to the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Since many have undertaken to compile a narrative of the events that had been fulfilled among us, just as those who were eyewitnesses from the beginning and ministers of the word have handed them down to us, I too have decided after investigating everything accurately anew, to write it down in an orderly sequence for you, most excellent Theophilus, so that you may realize the certainty of the teachings you have received. Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Holy Spirit, and news of him spread throughout the whole world. He taught in their synagogues and was praised by all. He came to Nazareth, where he had grown up and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written, 
The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, Today, this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Inaanyayahan ko ang lahat ng mga magaganda na pumalakpak. Konti lang ba ang magaganda dito sa Mega Mall ngayon? Inaanyayahan ko ang lahat ng mga guwapo pumalakpak. Mas maraming guwapo dito sa Mega Mall. Mga kapatid, pwede po ba lahat tayo pumalakpak? <laughs> Dahil lahat tayo ay magaganda at gwapo. Maniwala ka. Pakisabi sa katabi mo, maganda o gwapo ka. At kailangan mong paniwalaan iyan. Yung mga iba, parang nag-aalanganin. Eh, sabi, Father, totoo nga bang maganda ako? Ang Diyos, pag gumawa, nagaling sa Kanya, walang pangit. Lahat maganda. Amen? May maganda po akong kaibigan na aking ikikwento sa inyo. Nag-meet kami two years ago. Siya po'y isang lalaki a man at, his, at the prime of his career. Siya po ay isang doktor at the prime of his career. Pero dumating sa punto ng buhay niya na siya ay nagkaroon ng isang sakit na pinandidirihan ngayon. At alam naman natin, yun ay yung HIV at AIDS. Sabi ko, ba't natin pandidirihan yun? hindi dapat pandirihan ang mga tao may HIV and AIDS. Namit ko siya noong siya'y nag-attend ng recollection sa aming kumbento. At nung siya'y nandoon, pagpasok niya doon sa aming room, makikita mo ang kanyang muka. Napakalungkot. Parang bumagsak ang mundo sa kanya. At noong panahong iyon, Iyak siya ng iyak. Hindi niya matanggap na siya ay may sakit. At mas lalong, hindi niya matanggap kung paano niya sasabihin sa kanyang magulang. Dahil ang kanyang tatay ay may cancer nung panahong iyon. At ang kanyang nanay naman ay katatapos lang ng heart bypass. Sabi niya sa amin, Father, hindi ko alam kung paano ko sasabihin sa mga magulang. Pero kailangan ko sila ngayong panahong ito dahil hindi ko alam kung saan ako pupunta. Sa pagkakataong iyon, takot siya. Takot na takot yung batang iyon. At ramdam na ramdam ko yung bigat ng kanyang dinadala. Pagkalipas ng dalawang linggo, nakatanggap po ako ng text message. Ang sabi sa akin, Dear Father, pwede na akong mamatay. Nagulat ako, bakit? Binaba ko ang akin text. Kasi po, nasabi ko rin kay Papa at Mama. Ang kwento niya noon ay, siya ay isang bata na hindi man lang nahagkan ng kanyang tatay. Siya ay isang bata na naiwan sa bahay nila dahil ang kanyang tatay ay napunta sa abroad. 
siya ay isang bata na nami-miss lagi ang pagmamahal ng kanyang mga magulang. Ngunit, nung pagkakataong iyon, nung sinabi niya na siya ay may sakit, sinabi niya sa akin, pwede na akong mamatay. Nasabi ko na kay Papa at Mama ang sitwasyon. At ang aking nakuha ay hugs and kisses from them. Yakap at halik ang nakuha ko, Father. Nung nagkita kami, pinakita ko yung text ulit sa kanya. At napaiyak siya. Sabi niya, Father, 28 years kong hinihintay yung yakap ng tatay ko. After 28 years ko lang natanggap. 28 years kong hinihintay yung halik ng nanay ko. Ngayon ko lang din natanggap. Kaya sa palagay ko, pwede na akong mamatay. Dahil natanggap ko na yung pinakamimithi ng aking buhay. Last week, dinalo ko po siya sa hospital ulit. Siya po ay may daming infeksyon. Naghihingalo nung panahong iyon. At nung pinuntahan ko siya, gusto pa rin niya magsalita. At meron siyang sinabi sa akin na hindi hindi ko makakalimutan. Ang sinabi niya sa akin, ang saya-saya ko, ang saya-saya ko, kahit na ganito yung sitwasyon ko, basta, Father, ang saya-saya ko. Ilang beses niyang inulit ang salitang ang saya-saya, ang saya-saya ko, ang saya-saya. At ramdam na ramdam ko yun. Dahil naramdaman ko na kahit siya ay may sakit na, kahit siya ay nakaratay doon sa hospital, ramdam ko yung galak sa kanyang buhay. Naalala ko ang unang pagbasa, the first reading today, from the prophet Jeremiah. And there is one line there which says, We rejoice and we find joy in the Lord, which is our strength. Kahit anong mangyari sa ating buhay, we find joy in the Lord. And I found that doon sa pasyenteng aking dinalaw. Kahit napakaraming challenges sa kanyang buhay, pero ang kagalakan at saya ay galing sa Panginoon. Kaya tuloy, nagkakaroon siya ng lakas. He found strength in that joy in the Lord. This morning, I called him up to say, How are you? Nawala na ang ventilator. Okay na siya. At hopefully tomorrow, ay lalabas na siya ng hospital. Amen? Why? That is joy in the Lord. Okay? Kagalakan sa Panginoon ang mga pagpapalakas sa atin. Today, we find joy also in the Lord as, he, as we go back to the same spirit that He has given us. The Gospel for today talks about Jesus Christ saying, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and He has anointed me. Lahat po tayo, ang Spiritu Santo ay nananahan sa bawat sa atin. Kaya dapat araw-araw, dapat tayo ay puno ng galak, puno ng kasayahan. Masasabi mo rin katulad ni Michael V. J-O-Y, Joy in my heart. At sasayo ka pa, katulad ng mga sumasayo kanina dito sa Gloria. Mapataas, mapababa, mapagilid, at mapa sa pagiliran o likod. Joy in my heart. Bakit? Dahil ang kagalakan ng Panginoon ay nanggagaling sa Espiritu Santo na nananahan sa atin ngayon. 
Kaya nga mga kapatid, kung itutuloy natin ang Ebanghelyo, if the Spirit of the Lord is upon you, and the Spirit of the Lord has anointed us all, then we all have a mission. And our mission is, okay, our mission is to reach out to the poor, to reach out also to those who are in prison, to reach out to those who are sick. Kanina bago nag-umpisa ang misa, habi ko dun sa kasama ko, ang saya ko dahil may mga may sakit na nandirito. Pag ako nakakakita ng may sakit, lumulundag ang aking puso dahil nasa kanila nananahan ang Espiritu Santo at ang Panginoong Diyos. Makikita niyo po sa mga may sakit ni nandirito si Jesus. Pag uwi niyo mamaya sa inyong pamilya or your loved ones who are sick, your neighbor who are poor, they are there. Christ is there. The Spirit is there. Moving us always to reach out to them. Recently, ako po, may mission po kami sa Katiil Davao Oriental. At yung aking karanasan sa Katiil Davao Oriental ay makapagbibigay sa atin ng isang imahe na lahat tayo dito is reaching out to them because the Spirit of the Lord is with us. May mga pictures po ang ipapakita sa inyo. At itong mga pictures na to, taken right after Pablo. Forward. Ito ang mga bahay ng ating mga kapatid sa Katiil devastated by Pablo. This is the road going to Davao Oriental. Last December, nagtanong tayo, Father, paano ang Pasko nila? Paano ang Pasko kung ang bahay mo ay ganito? Saan ka makakahanap ng pag-asa? Paano ang Pasko kung ang bahay mo at ang kapitbahay mo ay nananaghoy at nagihirap? Mga kapatid, ang ating mga kapatid ngayon sa Davao ay mga kapatid nating nagihikahos pa rin. Recently, meron po tayong baha pa rin. Okay? Dahil sa matin- matinding ulan, nagbabaha pa rin doon. Pagminsan umaaraw, nagbibidad sila ng kailang mga gamit, pero ang ating mga kapatid, katulad ng nanay na ito, na nadaladala niya ang kanyang anak, is really finding for that hope in their life. If the Spirit of the Lord is upon us, we might ask the question, who is the poor? Who is the sick in our society? Then, our mission is to spread Christ to them. Bring the Eucharist. We are the sacraments of God. Bring Christ to them. And in turn, we try to reach out to them in our own small way. Sa maliit na bagay na binibigay natin ang ating mga donasyon, ang ating mga damit, ang ating dasal para sa ating mga kapatid, malaki po ang nagagawa noon para sa kanila. And later on, we will try to see that our brothers and sisters will be taken care of by our church. Tayo ang simbahan. Tayo ang tunay na sakramento ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo dito sa mundo. Sama-sama na tayong pagbikisin ang ating mga kamay upang ang Espiritong gumagalaw sa atin ay maipaabot sa ating mga kapatid na nangangailangan. Magkaroon po tayong katahimikan at ipanalangin natin ang lahat ng ating mga mahal sa buhay, ang lahat ng mga nangangailangan sa mundo, ang lahat ng ating mga kapatid na may sakit.
We now stand. And as one church, the sacrament of God's love, we now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Father who sent His Son to us to proclaim the good news of His forgiveness and salvation. Confident in His love, we pray, fill us with Your Spirit, Lord. Fill us with Your Spirit, Lord. That the Pope, bishops, priests, deacons, and all ministers of the Word may tirelessly bring Christ's good news to the poor, the sick, the prisoners, and the lonely, we pray. Fill us with your Spirit, Lord, that the Word of God, which we proclaim and profess, may continually resound in the world is still in agony because of terrorism, poverty, materialism, and hopelessness, we pray. Fill us with your Spirit, Lord, that our celebration of National Bible Sunday and National Bible Week may make us be more aware of the preeminent role of the Word of God in the life of the Church and in the work of evangelization and catechesis, we pray. Fill us with your Spirit, Lord, that we may take up the ancient an ever-valid tradition of Lectio Divina, which draws from the biblical text, the living word, which questions, directs, and shapes our lives, we pray. Fill us with your Spirit, Lord. That the Lord may bless the initiatives of the Episcopal Commission for the Biblical Apostolate and of other groups and movements devoted to the promotion study, and living of the Word of God, we pray. Fill us with your Spirit, Lord. Heavenly Father, let the words of our mouths and the thoughts of our hearts find favor with you. Nourish us with your Spirit so that we may do our share in bringing the good news to all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please remain standing while the gifts are being presented.
Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, that in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer, to love like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> the mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Benedict XVI, our Pope, Luis Antonio, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristo, kasama niya at sa Kanya, Lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos amang makapangyarihan kasama ng Espiritu Santo. Magpasawa lang hanggang Sa pananampalataya, puspus tayo ng Espiritu Santo. Kaya buong galak natin ipanalangin ang dasal na itinuro sa atin ng ating Panginoong Yesus. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace in unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Magbigayan po tayo ng kapayapaan sa isa't isa. Peace be with you. Brothers and sisters, behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, ang tunay na kagalakan ng ating buhay. Blessed are we who are about to receive Him in this celebration. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those of you who are unable to receive Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters who are joining us in this TV Mass, we invite you to pray with us this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all rise. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glorify in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. I'd like to take this opportunity to invite all of you sa mga nanonood din. February is heart month. But there is another heart coming here in the Philippines that is the heart of St. Camillus. We are the Camillians. Our founder is St. Camillus de Lelis, the patron saint of the sick, the hospitals, and healthcare providers. The heart, the relic, will be coming here in the Philippines from February 18 to March 10, and it will be going around to the different major cities around the Philippines. But I would like to invite all of you here to be there on February 23, 8.30 a.m. in Paco Church for the Healing Mass. And I'm inviting all the sick, your loved ones, please come. Please stand. Okay. That's February 23, 8.30 a.m. Okay. Saturday. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Graciously enlighten your family, O Lord, we pray, that by holding fast to what is pleasing to you, they may be worthy to accomplish all that is good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go proclaim the joy of God in your life. Thanks be to God.